Oh, man, this film, man, oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. Folks, let's jump into my review of the film, The Leech. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the show today for another review. And today we're going to be reviewing the film The Leech, which made its West Coast premiere this year at Screen Fest 2022. Now, this this cast is only assembled of four folks, and they really made the film work. It 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 feels like a pandemic film, um, because most pandemic films have limited set, um, limited cast. Um, but by all means, this film was definitely executed to the T. Very enjoyable. Um, and I, oh my God, I was annoyed, but I love the performances in this film. And man, poor Father David, played by Graham Skipper, who is fantastic in this. So Father David is a priest. He does all the priest things. He, he, he preaches to a church with not many members, but he still goes out there and do it. He accepts confessions. You know, he does that sort of thing. He comes home and he lives a holy life. Good old Terry, played by Jeremy Gartner. Terry is uh, not doing too good. He was one trying to sleep in the church. He had to be kicked out because, hey, the church got to close. And he says, you know what? Could you take me to my girl Lexi house? Um, Lexi wasn't home. So it's snowing. And then, and then Father Dave was like, you know what? I have a house, an extra room you could come. And Terry's like, nah, nah, it's cool. I can stay on the bridge. But he's like, no, I insist. And he comes. So first indication to me by the film being the leech is like oh well, well there it is there's the leech the person who leeches off the folks and and, and uses them and, and and basically uh you know consumes all their resources to their left empty so that's what i got from you know as soon as i saw the title at least that's what i thought exactly what was going to happen and i wasn't too far off here but man 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 so you have this father david who lives this very righteous life in terry who is coming in here disturbing the vibes to the point he even moved lexi in and the two of them are nothing but unorthodox and they are causing nothing but headaches and trouble for father david so listen he invites them into his holy house and one thing to the next that just completely look first of, first of all cursing drinking the lewd behavior this holy house is now have been and it needs to be sanitized because there's a lot kind of going on here um and 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 you know there's a moment where father david has a confession with somebody who we don't see who appears to be lexi so the secrets he knows about lexi then made some sort of have a little bit of empathy for her which allowed her to be moved in you know um the person who confessed said that she was pregnant and she didn't want to tell her partner she thought it was Lexi, who didn't want to tell Terry, so she felt sorry for the two of them, so she said, fine. But they're completely destructive, not only to one another, but to his, him, his well-being, and his house. Um, and when that is all happening, they're, they're testing Father David by every stretch. Waking him up at night, um, you know, being invasive. Uh, you know, they're, 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 they're cursing, they're drinking, all sorts of different things. They even want to play... Uh, um, God, what's the name of that? Never have I ever. They even playing that with him, getting Father David drinking. I mean, they're slowly but surely turning this saint into a sinner. And it's a battle of good versus evil for Father David. That's his whole journey here. And they are testing him. And they're doing some completely unforgivable things. Don't get me wrong. And I, there's a certain element to this film that I'm not going to talk about that is so funny that I was like, all right, well, that's it for Father David. He lost it now. He's He's got to be pissed. And it's just, oh, boy. So with all these sorts of different things happening, it's a little bit predictable because you see how Terry is just completely exhausting Father David's patience to the utmost and every bit of resource that Father David have, he's just completely abusing it to the point that, you know, I said, okay, I get how this film is going to play out. And then the third after this film is a complete horror film it is a showdown of good versus evil and this movie really had no business being as funny as it was <laughs> i just cannot believe what was happening in this film so this film was like really easy to consume wasn't a lot kind of going on here you had very strong um performances in terms of personality and character work by both jeremy and graham um really 
testing one another. Uh, the, the character Lexi and this character Ringo coming in here. Ringo performs gospel rap, which I just was like, okay, didn't see that coming, but here we are. Um, and, 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 and the characters are all testing each other, really creating this very interesting dynamic of characters and performances that like, it's just a wild film. It's a wild film. I enjoyed this film and I think you totally should go out the way to check it out. Again, this is The Leech, folks. Jump in the comments and let me know your thoughts about it. And, and, and by, the, by all means, who is The Leech in this? What does The Leech represent? That's the big question in here. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, stay tuned for more reviews very soon.